Thank you so much. Thank you all. And thank you everyone for uh, joining me uh, this, uh, this presentation. Uh, so today I would like to, um, first I would like to ask you uh, who is doing shared web hosting uh, from you? Please raise your hand. Okay, there's, there's uh, quite a lot of people doing this uh, recently. And uh, do, do you uh, have many WordPress, uh, Drupal, Yomla, and other CMSs installed? Okay, great, great. Then uh, I will uh, tell you a, a couple uh, very good advices how you can secure them all. Today I'm gonna talk about three uh, different topics. The first is uh, a new botnet that is on the rise. Uh, it's called the Hexa botnet. Then I'm gonna uh, show you in details how you can uh, how you can protect uh, your server and all the domains and all the websites hosted on your server uh, from this botnet and many other malicious botnets, hackers, and, uh, and other uh, problems. And uh, the third one is uh, a new, um, new module that we just uh, finished a couple of weeks ago, and uh, I think it's a, a very um, a good time to uh, announce this new module. Okay, so the Hexabotnet, about two months ago, um, our um, research department uh, found a new botnet that is on the rise, and there are uh, a very wide uh, uh, range of infections uh, going, going on recently. So I would like to uh, tell you a little bit more about uh, how this botnet uh, is working. Basically, this botnet uh, mostly uh, infects WordPress installations, the first step uh, is always uh, a manual uh, attack. So uh, they do an automated scan, and then uh, a hacker uh, try to abuse uh, that WordPress installation. Uh, and then uh, they install uh, a backdoor. Uh, there is a pattern in the backdoor, uh, as you can see uh, on, the, on the screen. Uh, the, the file name is always eight character long, uh, and uh, there is a, a, a highly obfuscated uh, code inside. I'm sure uh, you have already uh, met uh, codes like this. Well, we deobfuscated this code, and it looks uh, something like this. From this code, uh, we've been able to uh, to recognize that this backdoor is using uh, uh, a string as as a, a command uh, uh, as as a way to send commands to this uh, backdoor. And uh, this string is uh, encoded uh, in a, a hexadecimal, uh, in, a, in a hexa string, basically. Uh, okay, uh, and uh, actually that's why we named this botnet hexa botnet, because all the command and control requests are uh, encoded uh, in a hexadecimal form. So uh, this is a way to, uh, to, to find uh, uh, those requests that are sent to uh, such a backdoor. Uh, after the backdoor is installed, uh, the next step is to uh, inject uh, another backdoor into the, uh, the CMS's uh, files. So uh, it tr tries to hide itself uh, into different locations and automatically inject uh, this, uh, uh, this encrypted uh, backdoor into other files and only use those infected files to do uh, the actual harm, so to send out spam, to do uh, DOS attacks, uh, to, to um, yeah, scan other servers, and, and, uh, and so on, and so on. Um, okay, the, the symptoms of such a, uh, uh, of this botnet is, is very clear. Uh, you have high server load, uh, you got out, outbound spam and outbound DOS attacks, uh, many times we see uh, phishing content uploaded uh, to the server, and uh, of course uh, Google will uh, blacklist your site. Uh, but how can you protect your server against such botnets and, and, uh, and others uh, in the wild? Well, we have an easy to use solution for you, and it's called BitNinja. When you install BitNinja, it will automatically uh, set up uh, different uh, protection modules for the different phases of a cyber attack. We do uh, two hon uh, honeypot uh, modules that can uh, 
uh, stop the uh, attack at the scanning phase. So when, for example, a hexabotnet scans for uh, vulnerable WordPresses, uh, this, uh, this functionality will be able to collect uh, the um, IPs, the front-end IPs of the, uh, the back door and block at that stage. Also, uh, we do log analysis, and this is also very important uh, to, to find, uh, uh, for example, um, brute force attacks uh, and, um, and ma many other uh, pattern based, um, uh, okay, so many other attacks when, when you can uh, match uh, it with a pattern. The next phase is the e uh, exploitation. Uh, we provide uh, uh, on your server a web application firewall that uh, we ship uh, a default uh, rule set and you can customize the rules on a, b a domain based level. So uh, you don't need to stick with one rule set for every web website. You can uh, choose uh, the protection level uh, at the domain uh, level even. We also do uh, DOS detection, an application level DOS detection and prevention. So this way you can stop slow loris attacks, for example. And uh, 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 on the other hand, we also um, uh, protect your files with a malware detection module that, that does uh, real time and uh, scheduled scans uh, at the same time. So you can schedule uh, uh, scans and every time there is a new file created or a file is modified, uh, the malware detection will, uh, will scan that file. Okay, um, one more uh, important uh, thing about our technology. Each of these modules um, will feed this information so the uh, the IP addresses of the uh, command and control servers of the uh, infected other servers into a central uh, database. We call it the gray list. So uh, as you can see on the picture, um, uh, w when there's an attack against a Witninja protected server and we block this attack, we send uh, up the security information to our data center where we uh, then stream back uh, this uh, IP reputation to all of the other uh, Bitinja protected servers. And they already protect more than 4,000 servers, so we have a ton of uh, data, and uh, we can, we can uh, slowly, with this technology, uh, protect against a lot of malicious requests. Okay, and now uh, let me introduce uh, our uh, latest and the greatest uh, um, uh, defense module, uh, and this is the defense robot. So, what do you do when there's a malware uh, on your server or, or, or on a hosted uh, uh, account? Um, um, okay, so on, on a website, uh, you find a malware. Um, one thing we, we did previously is to, um, to try to manually find uh, how that malware was uploaded, uh, where the backdoor is situated. And, um, and well, it's, it's a pretty um, boring job. It's a, it takes like uh, at least 20 minutes to, to you know, go through all the logs, the FTP, the HTTP, the control panel logs, and find out how uh, that uh, malware was uploaded. Now, with our new module, it is completely automated. So each time uh, BitNinja detects a, a new malware, uh, it will uh, dig into the logs, uh, into the FTP, the control panel, and the HTTP logs, and uh, try to find out automatically how that malware was uploaded, and uh, instantly gray list the IP address of the attacker. So uh, this tool uh, allows you to, uh, to, to, to um, uh, completely automate your, your security tasks with uh, BitNinja. And, um, okay, just a, a small recap. So I talked about this new uh, very um, malicious botnet, the Hexa botnet. I, I show you how you can protect all your servers with uh, uh, an all-in-one server security solution. This is BitNinja. And uh, we just released this new uh, automated weapon against, uh, against uh, malwares. Uh, and uh, now, as I only have a half minute, um, I would like to invite you to, uh, to try BitNinja on your servers. And uh, today we have a, a, an offering. So we give uh, BitNinja for free for a, 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 for a server for a whole year. 
And all you have to do is just to uh, find uh, our uh, ninja colleagues. Uh, they, are, they are around here. They scan your badge, and uh, we send the details about how you can activate this one-year uh, trial of BitNinja. Thank you so much for your attention, and let's make the internet safer together.